are we together? Why am I speaking for so long? Let me just take you to the practical session. Here are some of the equipment we shall need for our production today. First of all, we shall need a digital scale. We have that type. It has three buttons. The first button is named on, stroke, off. So when I press it at once, it puts the digital scale on. First of all, it gives me very many digits and eventually it goes on zero. However, there is an arrow at in the sides of zero. If that arrow is not reading, sorry, there is a digit on the side of zero, and that digit is a gi, meaning grams. That letter, gi, meaning grams. So if at all the digital scale is not measuring in grams, you go on pressing the mod button. You see when we press the mod button, it changes from gi to oz, still we have to press it. Changes from oz to lb, still. From lb to kgi, still. From kgi to ct, we want it in, it's from ct to tl. We want it in grams, which is gi. So we make sure that all the digital scale should be measuring in gi, meaning grams. So if I don't it's not reading in grams, you press the mod button and when it goes back to, to grams. We as well have the last button on the on the right hand side of the of the scale or on the right hand side of me facing into the scale. So the last button is named tear. Tear means to zero out the weight of anything on top of the digital scale. For instance if I get my empty container and I put it on the top of a digital scale. The digital scale will weigh the weight of that container, which is 26. However, I may not be needing the weight of that container, which is 26, but I need the weight of anything that I'm going to pour, to pour inside the container. So what I have to do, I press the tire button, so that weight of the container is now removed off, and the digital scale has gone back to zero. So anything I put on top of the digital scale, the digital scale will just measure anything I add in the container minus the weight of the container. So that is type number one of the digital, the digital scale we have here at Kisa Project, and that one goes for a few of Ghana shillings, 80,000. However, we have three options for you to choose from. Let us show you the second type of the digital scale we are having. This is type number two. This one has five buttons. The first button above, it is named hold, then PCS, then on stroke off, then mod, then tear. We shall not use hold and PCS for any of our users in soap production. However, we shall strictly rely on the, the first one, which is named either on, stroke, off, and mod, and tear. Still, as we have been well, as we have instructed you in the other first digital scale, even on this one, when I press this one once, the digital scale goes on. Still, it gives me a digit at the side of zero, which is G. If at all this digit is not G, I'll have to press the mod button, not until the digit changes to G. So when I press the mod button, it changes from G to LOB, still from LOB to OZ, from OZ to TL, from TL to KG. You can as well use KG because it's giving us four digits, which means it can as well measure in grams, even if it is displaying in KG, but it's better to use it always in grams G. So, the last button, which is tear, zeroes out the weight of anything I put on top of a digital scale, like for instance, if I put this cup on top of a, di a digital scale, the digital scale measures the weight of the cup which I don't need, so I press the tear button, the digital scale goes back to zero. So in case I put anything into this cup, the digital scale measures the weight of that very thing I put into the cup minus, or excluding the weight of the cup itself. So that is the function of the tear button. This is type number two. We also have the SAD type of a digital scale for you to choose from. Even this digital scale goes for a price of gun shillings, 80,000. So we have another type. This is another type, another type of a digital scale that you can choose from. The first two digital scales I've been showing to you, they can measure up to a maximum of just five kilograms. So this one can measure to up to 40,000 grams. This one goes for a price of 400,000 gun and shillings. With this digital scale, it has two screens. It has a screen here, and it also has a screen here. So this is the power button, this one. When I press it like this, the digital scale goes on. First of all, it shows me very many digits, and eventually, it will read zero. It should be measuring in kg, but with four digits. Four digits means, meaning it is giving us all measurements in kg, but if at all we don't get any digit here, it means these three digits are four for grams. So the same things displayed here, 
the same things displayed on the other on the other screen. Just like the previous scales, you get your container into which you are going to measure your stuff, put it on top of the digital scale, the digital scale will measure the weight of the container, we don't need that weight, so I just press the tear button to remove the weight of the container, so anything I put inside the container will be measured excluding the weight of the container itself. So this is how you use this big digital scan, the one we are going to use for our demonstration videos today of our training today. This one goes for a price of Ghana shillings, 400,000. So the next equipment is an hydrometer, she's holding an hydrometer, that is the twaddle type of an hydrometer, that's the type of hydrometer we have to use for our soap production. It will be used in gauging the caustic water solution, you know, finding out the specific gravity of the caustic water solution, the right calibration mark, mark or the right calibration reading should be at 1, 2, 7, 5. So 1, 2, 7, 5 is the second reading from the bottom line, the bottom line is 1, 3, 0, 0, so the second reading is 1, 2, 7, 5, that is the benchmark of our stronger kind of solution. If we, if we measure the caustic water solution, we shall insert in an hydrometer and try to adjust the calibration reading, if necessary, to 1, 2, 7, 5. If it reads any, fee, any value bigger than 1, 2, 7, 5, for instance, 1, 3, 0, 0, it's a clear indication that we shall be needing to add there more amounts of water to our stronger kind of solution. However, it re, if at all it reads any value lower than 1, 2, 7, 5, for instance, if at all it reads 1, 2, 5, 0, it's a clear indication that we have to concentrate our stronger kind of solution by adding more values of caustic soda solution. That is the twaddle hydrometer. You can get it here at Kisapo, just adjust a few organic things, 80,000. Equipment number next, we shall need a mixer. She is holding a stick blender or an immersion mixer. That one is meant for small production. For instance, for our case, we are targeting to manufacture approximately 4,000 grams of soap, so I will use that one for mixing. That one goes for just a few Ghanaian shillings, 200,000 Ghanaian shillings. You can get it at Kisa Projects. However, for those who are targeting massive production, you can take an option of our professional electric mixer, the one that goes for Ghanaian shillings, 600,000. Let us show you the professional electric mixer. That is a professional electric mixer. Let's show you how these two mixers work. That one goes for a few Ghanaian shillings, 600,000. So this is the simple immersion mixer or immersion blender. It has two buttons. This is double and this is the one of minimum agitation speed. And these are the blades. So it is already powered. So when I press turbo, it runs on a high agitation speed. When I press the upper button, it runs on a low agitation speed. So next we shall need a sealing machine to seal our porch bags or to seal our wrapping bags of velas. If at all we are using velas or polyphene bags in wrapping your soap. We have that type, this is an impulse sealer. We as well have another type which is a continuous vertical band sealing machine. We are also going to show you all these machines and how they work. So you can buy this one from Kisa Project at just a few of Ghana shillings, 200,000. Or our vertical band sealing machine at just a few of Ghana shillings, 50. Million. Let us show you how both of these machines work. So I start by showing you an, how an impulse sealer works. So I power it up. So I change, uh, I, I adjust the temperature to roughly, let's say something like 2.5. But you can adjust depending on the type of wrapper you are using. So I have this one as my demonstration wrapper. So I'm going to seal it simple and easy. So it is already sealed. So this is an impulse sealer. 
hope you can see clearly how it seals. This is how nice the impulse sealer does the work. You can get it here at Kisapu, just a few garnish rings, 200,000. So you see how nice the sealing looks. Yeah, these sealing machines are already available here at Kisa Projects. Let's show you the next sealing machine, which is the vertical band, continuous sealing machine, the one that we start with just a few garnish rings, 3 million. So I start by powering my continuous vertical sealing machine by pressing in the power cable. And I press on, sorry, not now. So I get this and I put it into this output here. Then I press on the switch. Then I start by pressing on the power button. This one presses it on and the conveyor belt starts moving. The conveyor belt starts starts moving. If I don't want to adjust the speed of the conveyor belt, you rotate this knob like this. So it adjusts the speeds of the conveyor the speed of the conveyor belt. However, I want it at a low speed. So I, I will start by putting on the heater, the one that will raise the temperature. Basing on the bag that I'm going to seal, I want my temperature at 150 degrees. So I'll raise the temperature to 150 degrees and I seal my bag. This one is a continuous vertical band sealing machine and this one we said it, Ghana sealing is pretty million. You can get it ready available here at Kisa Projects. Does the work very nice. Why am I speaking for it? And I'm going to show you how it, it works. So now I can put on my cooler and I put my bag to be sealed. This is the bag. You see it has an opening. So I'm going to seal it using a vertical band continuous sealing machine. It just moves automatically to the other end. And wow, this is how it seals. I've not sealed it in a straight line, but my instance is just to show you how nice it does the sealing. So this is our table cutting machine this one will be used to slice the soap slab into short or into minimal sizes before molding it to our actual toilet soap shapes that we are targeting you can get this cutting machine here at kisa project at just a few Ghana shillings 450,000. it has two cutting braids and it has two base base walls these cutting machines are already available here at kisa projects so this is the this is the stamp or the roller table stamp. If you buy yours or if you make an order of your table roller stamp with Kisa Project, this is how it comes sealed. So you have to unseal it like this. So you can have a look at it. You also unseal this like this for those who are manufacturing long bars of soap and even those ones manufacturing. Either rectangular or square angular toilet soap or medicated soap, so you can use this type of a sealing machine. Sorry, this type of a stamping machine. It is a stamping machine, not a sealing machine. I was mistaken a little bit, but this is a stamping, a stamping machine. It goes for just to garnish things 500,000. You make your order and design it for you, and it will take us just two days to complete your stamp.